May 2013, UPA's summer of discontent. An unpleasant picture for Alliance. The All India Trinamool Congress and the DMK, the two big allies, had only recently jumped off the UPA ship. What was left was the ones and twos of Indian politics. Those visuals on your screen were of this place, right behind me, the Prime Minister's residence at 7 Racecourse Road. This was eight months ago, and since then, the situation for the UPA has only gone from bad to worse. Those who chose to stick with the UPA are now dropping subtle political hints about the discontentment. However, those who want to join the UPA fold are only marginalised fringe players. So what really is the future of the United Progressive Alliance and are regional players actually swaying towards the NDA? And if that is so, did the UPA in its past 10 years of existence only have for itself fair weather friends? Hello, the world is short of us walking in. Okay. Hi. On Monday, Times Now broadcast the biggest political interview of the year. Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi in conversation with Times Now's Editor-in-Chief Arnav Goswami. Apart from being widely watched, the interview changed the course of both the political discourse in the country and also the way in which UPA did its politics. Did the Sikh riots take place in Delhi? Absolutely. Were they completely wrong? Absolutely. Were congressmen did, involved? Did innocent people die? Absolutely. Were congressmen involved? Some congressmen probably were involved. And have they been, have, has justice been yes, delivered? To there them? is a legal process through which they have gone. You admit but some congressmen were probably involved. Some, I mean, some congressmen have been punished for it. In that case, why don't you apologize so, for the 1984 riots? No, so I'm, I'm no, the, the congressmen who you are talking about are still fighting their cases. And in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, Jagdish Teitler, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, was going to get nominated as a Congress candidate. It was only following the media, media furor that his nomination was taken back. Mr. Gandhi, I'm asking you this question with, with all seriousness. Do you feel that the congressmen were involved? And two, do you believe that you personally, if the, you apologize for the riots, there will the, be a finality? The fact, the fact of the matter is that innocent people died in 1984. And innocent people dying is a horrible thing and should not happen, okay? The difference between Gujarat and 1984 was that the government of Gujarat was involved in the riots. The government. How do you how do you say that? I mean, uh, the chief minister of Gujarat has been given the clean shit by the courts. The government of the difference between the 84 riots and the riots in Gujarat was that in 1984 the government was trying to stop the riots. I remember, I was, I was a child then, I remember that the government was doing everything it could to stop the riots. In Gujarat, the opposite was the case. The government in Gujarat was actually abetting and pushing the riots further. So there's a, there's a huge difference between the two things. Saying that innocent people dying is absolutely wrong. Explain that. Government of, government of Gujarat was aiding and abetting the riots is what you just said. Explain that. I mean, it's not me. It's, it's, large numbers of people who were there. It's large numbers of people who saw actively the government of Gujarat uh, being involved. And in you keep that line despite the chief minister getting a clean sheet from the courts? I mean, people saw it. I'm not the person who saw it. Your colleagues saw it. Your colleagues told me. They saw riots. They didn't no, they see saw, the government they saw, of Gujarat. They saw the administration, they the they saw the administration actively attacking Minorities. Are you saying the government of Gujarat was? Imp what? What are you? Uh, what is? I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the, there was a difference between the 1984 riots and the riots in Gujarat. The difference was that the government in 1984 was trying to stop the riots, was trying to stop the killing, whereas the, if, gov whereas the, the government in Gujarat was allowing the riots. And if post the interview, 1984 riot victims took to the streets. <laughs> BJP launched a vitriolic attack on the Congress in general and its vice president in particular. Obviously, on 1984 and 2002, both are unfortunate incidents. 
uh, I think he's uh, ill-informed. A state response to an unfortunate riot of this kind has to be judged by the fact how many policemen were present, at how many places did the police fire to disperse unruly mobs. Did the rioters also die in police firing? How many people were arrested? How many people are prosecuted and how many people are successfully prosecuted? Rahul Gandhi, it seems very uh, ludicrous the, that the very rationale of your authority is your dynasty. Rahul Gandhi ji, aapki puri rajneetik pakad ka karan hai aapka parivar. Or aap dynastic control se party ko mukt karne ki baat karte hai. But the most surprising of the observations were made by the NCP to the point in the Times Now interview where Rahul Gandhi endorsed the Prime Minister's views on Narendra Modi. Senior leaders of Alliance partner NCP almost questioned the need for Rahul to attack Modi for his role in the 2002 Gujarat riots. We are in an era where we believe that uh, the judicial system is the final recourse to getting justice on any issue or to bring a finality to any controversy. And if the judicial system has given any pronouncement, I think we ought to respect it and we need not question it further. Politics is not only about the judicial system, politics is also about perception. And I think it is important political parties. I think we, you know, go to the people based on the perception what we believe in and I think that perception is not for us alone to believe it is for the people to believe how what we say and I think that is most important in, in terms of any interview uh, there's no point to comment because it is for each one to give uh, his or her version but the fact remains that perception today is important and if the judicial system has given a certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, finality to any controversy, I think we should let it rest there. The relationship has been bittersweet between these two allies. Only a few days back, after the death of Union Minister Shashi Tharoor's wife Sunanda Pushkar, NCP leader D.P. Tripathi said that Tharoor should resign pending inquiry. Mr. Tharoor has rightly uh, pledged that he will cooperate uh, for, uh, with, the investigation, uh, with the investigating agencies. However, the matter is very serious and we think that uh, since the investigations are on, Mr. Tharoor will himself dissociate, disassociate, <coughs> Mr. Tharoor will himself disassociate from the ministerial responsibilities till the investigations are over. The NCP Congress relationship has had its share of unease here in Maharashtra as well. There have been several fights over local issues, even on the seat sharing. A view within the Congress as well as within the NCP is to try going it alone in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections as well as in the ensuing state assembly elections. There is no question of realigning with other parties. We are the part of UPA and we will be the part of UPA. Somebody is saying that UPA is sinking ship or this kind of a propaganda is Bharatiya Janata Party's propaganda and we are more confident than ever and we will fight election together. Always where there is an alliance within the parties, when elections are there, negotiation is held always in the, between the parties. Since we are asking Congress to resolve the issue, take decision as early as possible, many parties have started their campaign. But Congress is lingering the issue, that's why we are dis disappointed. We are saying them to take decision as early as possible. Nothing wrong in coalition, I just look at it as copy-paste of the 2009 approach. Which means what? Which means that the same thing they had uttered in 2009, same approach was there. So what is the difference? Please explain. 2009 also when we were having sheet sharing uh, negotiations, mm. they were delayed. They had taken that stand, you know, they need some time, they want to negotiate. So it got delayed. When we started saying that, yes, let us finalize immediately. 
Today they are saying the reverse. And we look at it that there are still three months to go for the election. And more or less the formula is worked out. It's a question of basically what has happened is our cadre is insisting mm. that our strength in Maharashtra, mm. whether one likes or not, has increased in the local bodies, at the local lower level. So that's why our cadre is feeling that why not have more Lok Sabha seats? Back in Delhi, politics first caught up with the senior NCP leader. We started by asking him whether the 10-year-old ally, the NCP, wants to be categorized as a fair weather ally or is this relationship going to stay the course in the future as well? We are very responsible constituents of UPA. We want the leading party of UPA, that is the Congress party, to behave properly and follow the coalition dharma. Mm. That's all we need. When you say behave properly, what exactly are you saying? Because, because the, again, this will give right, rise to a lot of speculation. No, That's no, this is spe there should be no speculation. Yeah. Like we fought for coordination committee of UPA. Coordination committee was formed. Mm. Coordination committee doesn't meet. Mm. We want coordination committee to meet and discuss all major issues. Mm. It doesn't meet. Mm. So this is the Congress attitude. Mm. This is a coalition government. But mm. Congress behaves as if it is a one-party government. Mm. This is the problem. Are you also talking, since in the morning you said that we are, to we are talking to all political parties. Yes, are you also... All political parties. I went to the anti-communal convention organized by the left. I represented my party uh, the end of October. Mm. So... Uh, we are doing all that. We are talking to all political parties, democratic parties. Including the BJP? No, uh, we are talking to all democratic parties. Veteran journalist Ajay Bose feels that UPS allies were nothing but fair with the friends. In fact, the regional players he feels will align with anyone to stay relevant at the centre. These allies of the Congress are, feel that now that the UPA is very vulnerable uh, and the Congress is very vulnerable, they're trying to sort of get, you know, a maximum leverage and telling the Congress you can't take us for granted. So you give us the maximum number of seats and, you know, it's just they're basically feeling that the Congress is with a wing down. Uh, they're most likely not going to win in the next election. So to get the maximum out of the present situation. So I think clearly it is that. From the valley came the other big discomfiture for the UPA. It's old ally, national conference, not just hinting at deserting what many call is the sinking ship of UPA, but also posing up to Narendra Modi led NDA. Clearly an alliance on tenter hooks. The national conference since then has retracted from this position. But what were the hints all about? Following Times Now interview of Rahul Gandhi, feelers came from the national conference. The oldest UPA allies were uncomfortable being with the big brother Congress, even hinting at fighting solo in Lok Sabha elections. I think it was uh, a timely speech. Uh, I think it was combative, which is exactly uh, what we require. I think for a little too long, uh, we've been on the defensive. Uh, we have a 10-year track record of what the UPA has done. Yes, uh, there have been mistakes along the way. But if you do an objective assessment, uh, there are more positives than negatives out of the 10 years uh, that the UPA has been in power. And I think we need to get off the back foot. Uh, but using yeah, using, using, cri Modi. using cricket terminology, no, why should I compare anybody? That's like comparing apples and oranges. Why should I compare Rahul Gandhi to anybody? Rahul Gandhi is his own person. Even Rahul Gandhi will lead the campaign for the Congress party. By association, he will lead the campaign for the UPA. I think the tone and the tenor of his speech was exactly what was needed to instill some fight in, in the bellies of the foot soldiers of the parties involved. And that's exactly what's happened. You've in fact talked about the humble beginnings of Modi and if you want to just elaborate I don't on want to elaborate on that. There was, a, there was a context. A day later, National Conference President Farooq Abdullah stoked the fire of speculation. Modi jite ya hare. Ye logun ka fesla hoga. Hindustan ke log fesla karenge. Kaun yaha ka wazir azam hoga. Jo Hindustan ko aage chalaye. Ye logun ka fesla hai. To get a sense of what's happening in the National Conference camp, we caught up with this leader, an old National Conference hand in the valley. We started by asking him whether the National Conference will go it alone in Lok Sabha elections. And if that is so, should they be treated as a fair weather ally in the UPA? 
We in 2008 uh, contested election on our own. It was not that we went into a people alliance. In 2008, we went separate. And uh, as of now, there was this uh, strong uh, thinking from uh, many quarters that we should do a pre-poll alliance. But ultimately, it is, like I said, uh, it is uh, our core committee. As far as the local leadership of our party is concerned, yes, there is a tremendous pressure on the leadership to go, go it alone. Mm. But ultimately, it is the working committee. Oh, uh, we are not unhappy with the Congress, uh, but uh, but he has he has uh, you know, sh uh, he has given this statement in context of the fact that the Congress is uh, uh, we feel Congress is a hurdle, creating hurdles in uh, establishing the uh, new administrative units, which are in favor of the people of Jammu and Kashmir state as a whole. So if anybody, that may be our own uh, coalition partner, if they uh, create some hurdle, we will not wait even a fraction of a second to say goodbye to the government. So it's fact. Everybody is looking at their options. Now, either the NDA or the UPA, whoever helps these regional parties, these smaller parties, to have a better say at the center. It's true that the NDA looks better than the UPA in terms of winnability. At the same time, Narendra Modi, as the uh, undisputed king of the BJP with a 56-inch chest, you know, he will be a much tougher person to negotiate with. So clearly, there could be a preference for, say, a Congress with his, you know, you know, tail between his legs and allowing regional parties to have their say.